guys welcome to circle time with teacher Jamie that's me um I hope you guys had a really great weekend and I am excited for another week of doing videos for you and hopefully maybe I'll get to see your faces in pictures or videos um, on our page um so let's get started okay looks look back here we have a new month and I didn't turn this one over but we have a new month that means we only have a few numbers on our board right here so let's go ahead and see what number is going to come next after three do you know what number is going to come after three can you do you remember all right let's check and see if you're right ready one two three four yeah did you say four good the number four all right well because there's only four numbers we want to count higher than four right so let's count to ten all right and I have my big numbers right here let's count to ten ready one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good work okay now let's do it in Spanish all right ready uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve diez Good job, friends. You are such good counters. All right. I want to sing our alphabet song today. Remember, this is a long one, and it comes from the Letter Factory video. Okay? Our, our uh, yeah, video. <laughs> and so if you want to watch the whole video that breaks down each letter and talks about what each letter makes, or the sound each letter makes, then check out the Letter Factory, okay? And I think you can find it on Netflix now. Um, or you may be able to just find it on YouTube. I don't know. But try and um, ask your mom and dad to help you find that, okay? So let's sing the letter song. Ready? The A says A. Ah. The A says A. Ah. Every letter makes a sound. The A says A. Ah. The B says B. The B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B. The C says S. Or, no, I was wrong. The C says K. The C says K. Every letter makes a sound. The C says K. The D says D. The D says D. Every letter makes a sound. The D says D. The E says E. Eh. The E says E. Eh. Every letter makes a sound. The E says E. Eh. The F says F. The F says F. Every letter makes a sound. The F says F. The G says G. The G says G. Every letter makes a sound. The G says G. The H says H. The H says H. Every letter makes a sound. The H says H. The I says I, the I says I, every letter makes a sound, the I says I. The J says J, the J says J, every letter makes a sound, the J says J. The K says K, the K says K, every letter makes a sound, the K says K. The L says O, the L says O, every letter makes a sound, the L says O. The M says M, mm, the M says M, mm, every letter makes a sound, the M says M. Mm. The N says N, mm, 
the end says n. Every letter makes a sound. The end says n. The O says ah. The O says ah. Every letter makes a sound. The O says ah. The P says p. The P says p. Every letter makes a sound. The P says p. The Q says qua. The Q says qua. Every letter makes a sound. The Q says qua. The R says er. The R says er. Every letter makes a sound. The R says er. The S says s. The S says s. Every letter makes a sound. The S says s. The T says t. The T says t. Every letter makes a sound. The T says t. The U says a. Uh. The U says a. Uh. Every letter makes a sound. The U says a. Uh. The V says v. The V says v. Every letter makes a sound. The V says v. The W says w. The W says w. Every letter makes a sound. The W says w. The X says x. The X says x. Every letter makes a sound. The X says x. The Y says y. The Y says y. Every letter makes a sound. The Y says y. And the Z says z. The Z says z. Every letter makes a sound. The Z says z. All right. You guys are so good at singing that song. I like that. All right, I have a fun book I want to read for you guys today. It is called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. What does it mean to type? Do you know what that means? Well, back in the day, before we had computers, we had something called typewriters. So these cows are using a typewriter that is like your keyboard on your computer and they but they it goes right onto paper instead of going on the computer and then printing it out it, they type it right onto the piece of paper so let's see what happens in this book the title is click clack moo cows that type and it's by Doran Cronkin and the pictures are by, by Betsy Lewin Okay, so they wrote the story and drew the pictures. Click, clack, moo. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Can you guys do that with me next time? I want you to do the moo part with me. All right, here we go. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Good job. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. They had typed a note. It said, Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. They want some blankets that are, will make them warm. It was bad enough the cows had found an old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said the Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. What? They're not going to give the farmer any milk? No milk today, cried the farmer. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack. Moo! Good job! The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. 
So the chickens want electric blankets too. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn. Clo closed. No milk and no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown in the background. He heard them doing it again. Click, clack. Moo. Click, clack. Moo. Click, clack. Moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. He was so mad. Farmer Brown got hit out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Do you think it's going to work? Are they going to give him milk and eggs? I don't know. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. He brought the note from the farmer to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. They're trying to decide. Are they going to give him the milk and eggs? Duck knocked on the door early in the morning. He handed Farmer Brown the note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange your typewriter for an electric blanket. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. So they're going to give up the typewriter for blankets. <gasps> Farmer Brown decided this was a good idea. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look at that. The chickens have blankets. The cows have blankets. That's funny. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack. <laughs> and look what they got. A diving board. Yep, that is a funny book, isn't it? All right, friends. It is time to say goodbye for today. Oh, I'll put that away later. Um, so let's sing our song. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, guys. I will see you again tomorrow.